Displaying your social media content on your WordPress website can help you grow your social media following while also updating your website with engaging and relevant content. In this video, I'll show you how we can add beautiful social media feeds like this to your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. To add social media feeds to our website, we use the social feed plugins by Smash Balloon. Smash Balloon offers plugins that let you create beautiful and responsive feeds from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube in just a few easy steps. You can purchase the plugins from smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you'll find your download links and license keys. Installing the plugins are very easy. All you have to do is in your WordPress dashboard, go into plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then go and click on upload plugin at the top. Now we can upload the zip file we downloaded from smashballoon.com like this. Here I'm installing Facebook Feed Pro. And now we can go and click on install now. Once the plugin is installed, we can go and click on activate plugin. But before we can go and create our social feeds, let's go and activate the license key for a plugin. On the left hand side, you will now notice all our social feed plugins on the menu. Go into Facebook feed, which is the one we just installed, and click on settings. Here you can paste the license key for your plugin and click on activate. There we go, our license key is now active and we can start creating our social feeds. In this video, let's create a social feed for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter all on this website. Let's start with the Facebook feed. On the left hand side, under Facebook feed, click on all feeds. Next, you can go and click on add new at the top. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can create several different feed types. These include a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from any Facebook page, a feed of videos from any Facebook page, and more. In this video, let's create a feed of posts from our Facebook timeline. So once that's selected, go and click on Next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Click on Add New. And besides source type, we can leave it on Page, and then we can click on Connect to Facebook. If you haven't already logged into Facebook, it will ask you to log in here. And once you've logged in, you'll see all the Facebook pages linked to your account. Select the one you want to connect to Smash Balloon like this and click on Next. And on this tip, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon to Facebook. I recommend you leave all the options set as default because all it's doing is getting the information it needs to display our feed correctly, but it won't be allowed to make any changes to your Facebook account. So simply click Done like this and proceed. Awesome, so we've now linked Smash Balloon to Facebook. We can click OK here. And back inside our WordPress dashboard, we can now see the Facebook pages we've connected with Smash Balloon. You can select the one you want to add to your feed like this and click on Add. And once again, select it here and click on Next. And on this tip, you can specify a template for how you want your Facebook feed to look. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more. For this example, let's go with simple masonry and click on Next. And now you'll see a beautiful preview of your new Facebook feed right here. You can see that we have all the latest posts from our Facebook page displayed beautifully in this feed. But before I show you how to embed this, let me show you how you can customize this to really make it your own. On the left hand side under customize, we have feed layout. Here you can modify the layout of your Facebook feed. Currently we have the masonry layout which shows all our posts in their actual size like this. Or you can go for the list layout like this, which shows all your posts in a single column list like this. And lastly we have this carousel layout, which shows all your posts in this beautiful swipeable carousel like this. Continuing with the masonry layout, down below we have other options to modify the layout even further. You can specify the number of posts you want on your feed and the number of columns as well. Simply click on it like this and choose the option you want for your feed. Once you're happy with the layout of your Facebook feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color scheme for your Facebook feed, all you have to do is go into color scheme on the left hand side and currently it's inheriting the color scheme from our theme, but alternatively you can go for the light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can specify the exact colors you want for your Facebook feed like this. Once you're happy with your color scheme, go and click save on the top right corner. There are plenty more options to customize your feed with Facebook Feed Pro. You can modify the header area like this, where you can enable the header and have a visual header with your cover photo and profile photo, or a simple text header like this. And you can even add a like box like this, where it will feature a link to your page, the number of followers you have, a call to action to follow your page, and a button to share your page as well if you'd like to. And at the bottom of your feed, we have a load more button right here. This is customizable as well. Just go into load more button right here and you can customize the button text and colors as well. Once you're happy with your Facebook feed, we can now embed it onto a WordPress website. To embed our feed, just go and click on embed on the top right corner like this. And here you'll find a dedicated short code for your Facebook feed. Click on copy and then we can go and click on add to a page. Now you can specify the page that you want to add your feed to. You can select the one you want like this and click on add. On your page, you'll have two different options to embed your Facebook feed. The first one is by pasting the shortcode we copied earlier for our Facebook feed. Or if you're using Gutenberg, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. 
And there we go. We have our Facebook feed that we just created right in the middle of our page like this. It looks amazing and you can now publish this and view it on your live web page. And here we are on a live web page and right here you can see our brand new Facebook feed. It's got all the latest posts from our Facebook page displayed in this beautiful masonry layout that we chose earlier. And there we go. We've successfully added our Facebook feed onto our WordPress website. Now let's move on to the Instagram feed. Back in our WordPress dashboard, we already have our Instagram feed pro, Twitter feed pro and YouTube feed pro installed. So let's go into Instagram feed and click on all feeds. To create an Instagram feed, the steps are very similar to the Facebook feed. Go and click on add new at the top. And with Instagram feed pro, you can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or even a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. And if you want to mix and match different feed types, you can select multiple feed types like this as well. For this video, let's go with public hashtag one. So I'm going to leave that selected and click on next. And for the next step, normally you'd have to connect your Instagram account with Smash Balloon. And again, the steps are very similar to what I showed you with Facebook before. And since we're already connected here, we can simply go ahead and add our hashtags for our feed. So for this video, I'm going to type in hashtag Yellowstone National Park like this. And we can specify if we want the most recent posts for this hashtag or the top rated ones. I'm going to go with the top rated ones for this video and I'm going to click next. And now we can select a beautiful template for how we want our Instagram feed to look. We have some different options compared to Facebook feed pro. We have options like the default, a simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and some more below as well. For this option, let's go with a simple grid. And then I'm going to click next. And here's our brand new, beautiful Instagram feed. Our feed is currently displaying all the top posts for hashtag Yellowstone National Park. And just like the Facebook feed we created, we can customize this Instagram feed even further. On the left-hand side under feed layout, you can modify the layout of your feed. We have similar options like the grid, as you can see here with neatly arranged rows and columns. You have a carousel layout, which you can use to swipe through your posts like this. Masonry layout, which shows all the posts in the original sizes. And also the highlight layout, which highlights certain posts on your feed. Let's go with the highlight layout for this one. And down below, once again, you can customize the number of posts you want to display. I'm going to adjust this to nine posts. And you can also modify the number of columns you want on your feed as well. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. And of course, if you want to customize the color palette of your Instagram feed, you can go into color scheme on the left hand side. And once again, you can select a color scheme to inherit from your theme, a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can specify the exact color you want for your feed. If you've made any changes, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. And once you're happy with your Instagram feed, go and click on embed on the top right corner and we can copy our short code like before. And now we can go and add it to a page. Go ahead and select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. Just like before, we have the same two options to embed our Instagram feed. This time I'm going to paste the short code into a short code block just to show you how it works. There we go. Our short code is now there. We can go and publish the page and now check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here on our live web page, you can see how beautiful our new Instagram feed looks on our website. And down at the bottom, we have a load more button. And if we click on that, the plugin will go ahead and load even more posts inside our feed, as you can see here. Now that we've created Facebook and Instagram feeds, let's go and create a YouTube feed. Inside our WordPress dashboard, hover over YouTube feed and click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. With YouTube feed pro, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, feed of videos from any YouTube playlists, a feed of any favorite videos, and so much more. For this example, let's go with YouTube channel. So I've got that selected here. And let's go and click on next. And now you can go into the channel ID or username for the YouTube channel you want to display on your feed. I've already got my channel ID, so I'm going to paste that here. Alternatively, you can also connect Smash Balloon to your YouTube account below as well. Once that's entered, we can go and click on next. Now you can select the template for how you want your YouTube feed to look. We have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, gallery, and more. For this video, let's go with the carousel layout here. Once that's selected, go and click on next. And here we have our brand new YouTube carousel feed. It's already loaded up all our latest videos from our YouTube channel right here. And with our carousel feed, we can swipe through older posts like this. And if you want to modify the layout for your YouTube feed under the customize tab, go and click on feed layout. Here we have similar options as before to modify the layout of your feed. We have options like the grid where we have all our videos in neat rows and columns. We have the gallery layout, which shows one video as a larger thumbnail with all the rest of the videos underneath. Then we have the list layout, which shows all our videos in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which you saw earlier. Proceeding with the carousel, we have plenty more options to customize it below. We can choose to enable or disable the navigation arrows we see here, the pagination dots, and even the autoplay we see on the carousel. And below that, we can customize the number of columns we want on our feed, 
as well as the number of videos we want to show initially. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, you can go and click on save on the top right corner. And if you want to customize the color scheme for a YouTube feed, the options are exactly the same as Instagram and Facebook. So I won't demonstrate that for a YouTube feed, but you know how easy it is to use. But you'll notice that for a YouTube feed, we have a subscribe call to action button at the bottom. This button is fully customizable. On the left hand side, if we go to subscribe button, we can customize the button ticks and the colors as well. If you make any changes, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. And because I already have a heading on the page I want to add this to, we can go into header on the left hand side and disable the heading entirely and then click save. Now we can go ahead and embed this feed onto our web page. Once again, go into embed on the top right and we can copy the short code and then we can go and click on add to a page. Here, I'm going to select the YouTube page and click on add. And now on our page, we have the same two options to embed our YouTube feed. You can use the provided short code for a YouTube feed or you can use a dedicated YouTube feed block like this. And there we go, our YouTube feed is now embedded inside our page. Let's publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And here it is. Here's our new and beautiful YouTube carousel right in the middle of our web page. If you want to swipe through the videos, you can click on the buttons here or use the pagination dots at the bottom. And if you click on any video, it will open that video up like this in a light box view. Last but not least, let's go and create a Twitter feed for our website. In our WordPress dashboard, go and hover over Twitter feed and click on all feeds. Next, we can go and click on add new at the top. With Twitter feed pro, you have options to create a feed of tweets from any user timeline, a feed of tweets from any public hashtag, a feed of tweets from your home timeline and more. For this video, let's go with the user timeline option and click on next. And here we can add the Twitter handle for the account we want to display on our feed. I'm going to type in at GoPro like that. Then I can press next up here. And now we can select the template for how we want our Twitter feed to look. We have options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, showcase carousel, latest tweet and widget. For this example, instead of adding our Twitter feed onto a page, let's go and add it onto a sidebar. So instead of selecting one of these larger templates, let's select the widget template down here and click on next. And just like the other three feeds we created, we can see a beautiful preview of our new Twitter feed right here. It's currently showing all the latest posts from GoPro. And similar to the other feeds, we can customize this feed even further. If you go into feed layout under the customize tab, you can customize the layout of your feed. Currently we have the list layout, which shows all our tweets in a neatly organized column. And next we have the masonry layout, which shows all our tweets in their original sizes like this. And we also have a carousel layout, which puts all your tweets in a beautiful carousel feed like this. Continuing with the list layout, we can also specify the number of tweets we want to display on our feed. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Similar to before, you can modify the color scheme if you'd like to. And let's go and modify the header for this Twitter feed. We have the standard header like this, which shows your profile photo, profile name, a follow button, the number of tweets and number of followers as well. Or alternatively, you can go and click on the text header like this, which makes it a simple text header at the top, which you can customize down here. Let's proceed with the text style and change the text here like this to latest tweets. We can then specify the size we want for a header. So I'm going to leave it on small and the color as well. Once we're happy with the header, we can click on save on the top right corner. And now our Twitter feed is ready to be embedded on our website. Once again, go and click on embed on the top right corner. You can copy your short code and instead of adding it to a page, we're going to go and click on add to a widget. And this brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. And we're going to be adding our feed into the main sidebar. To do this, you have the same two options as before. You can copy and paste the short code into a short code block, or you can use one of our dedicated blocks for Gutenberg like this. So we have our Twitter feed block here. And there we go. We can now see the new Twitter feed that we just created inside the sidebar of our website. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And now back on our live web page, right in the middle, we have that Facebook feed that we created earlier. But now inside the sidebar, we have our brand new Twitter feed with the latest tweets from GoPro. If we scroll down, we can see all the tweets in our feed displayed in a sidebar neatly right beside the contents of our web page. So in this video, we've successfully added a Facebook feed, Twitter feed, YouTube feed and Instagram feed all onto the same website. If you want to check out all of the Smash Balloon social feed plugins that I demonstrated in this video, you can find links for them in the description below. And if you have any technical issues using our plugins, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.